2012 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon exterior view. We'll start here with the key fob. Says both key fobs, always a plus for older vehicles. We're going to use the remote start to crank this thing up. Takes it a second to cycle through, and then uh, fires right up. It's got a little bit of a rumble compared to most JKs because it's got a MagnaFlow high clearance exhaust. That exhaust runs just under the, uh, just along the inside of the frame, and you don't see a muffler sticking out the back because. That muffler comes out right past the rear axle, so a bit of extra ground clearance there. We'll start here at the back. You can see the license plate's been relocated to the spare tire. We'll also pause here at the spare tire because the spare tire's got a little bit more road rash. The other wheels are in great shape, but this one's been moved to the back because it's had a, a little bit of a more experience with curves than the others. So that's why that's the spare tire. Tires have been on the vehicle about five years. They've got good tread, but all of them put on at the same time. Spare tire, same size as the other four. Last thing on the rear of the vehicle, you'll see the uh, trail CB antenna there. Uh, these are rock hard steel bumpers, all of them designed for maximum approach angles and ground clearance for off roading. Uh, the Poison Spider fenders on all four corners have been line axed, just like the um, the rock bars, right? The Rubicon comes standard with rock bars on both sides, but these rock bars have been powder, excuse me, Linex coated, uh, just like the fenders. Uh, those are all mounted to the subframe the way steel poison spider fenders should be. Uh, it's hard to see on each corner, but there are power stop vented brakes, vent, vented brakes on all four wheels. Uh, also, in this wheel well, you'll see powder coated springs on all four corners because the vehicle uh, does have a TerraFlex leveling suspension. You'll see locks on the hoods besides that modification. There are aftermarket vents installed in the hood and then you've got the high lift jack up here. Now, the high lift jack has been here for a few years and it's showing a little bit of its age but it still works properly but uh, it's an off-road vehicle and it's got all the accoutrement for that. Uh, also up front you'll see again a rock hard steel front bumper, a stubby bumper for uh, trail riding. Uh, it's got 8,000 pound Warren winch with synthetic cable shown in the pictures also that accompany this video. Um, no surprises over here, same as the, the driver's side. Um, normal Rubicon. You know, these are new Rubicon decals and uh, the others were starting to show a little bit of age and cracking so those have been replaced recently. You will see on the side uh, mounting brackets for auxiliary mirrors when the doors are off. One thing I do want to show you up front while we're here though is that besides the normal tow points on the front of the bumper there are also Blue Ox hitch points for hooking up uh, flat towing equipment and tow bars. Uh, maybe you want to tow it behind an RV or you want to uh, flat tow it to the trail. Those come in handy. I want to move around to the back for a second to show you that first off all of the zippers are in good shape. We're going to unzip this back window and I want to show you an extra storage bin back here for security. Nice feature. I have to unlock it first, obviously. But as I do that, get the key fob, pull this open. And what I want to show you is that there's been a, a storage bin compartment put here. This actually goes all the way underneath the passenger seat and fastens to the bottom of the vehicle there. Provides a space for valuables, maybe a a laptop or something like that. Uh, besides that you'll see the woofer in the back of this vehicle. There's a power cord there that runs to the auxiliary power up front uh, for tailgating and that kind of thing. Besides that there's the auxiliary mirrors I talked about earlier. Uh, standard JK storage bin. We've got some off-roading equipment there. But uh, other than that, that's the 2012 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. It's been a good vehicle. Hope it goes to a good home. Hope you guys get as much enjoyment out of it as we have.